Oh, welcome back. Well, time for some harvesting. We've got two fields that are ready to harvest, so we'll uh, we'll go and take care of that. Our chickens are okay. I hope they have food. We'll check on them a little bit later. Uh, we better unfold our combine. So we got this field over here. I don't even know what we have on them, to be honest. What do we have on them? Uh, soybeans and sorghum. Beautiful. So we'll start with the soybeans. Why not, hey? So we'll see what happens here. We do need to... I don't need to be bailing, so that's fine. Uh, does that work again? No, it does not. Let's get rid of the map at least. We've got a tiny little bit better screen. We do need to upgrade our tractors. I need to get my finances up and going. I, uh... What is this? A plow. Yep. I was going to say, what are you doing here? So our last episode, we've obviously left them here. Okay, so let's go park you somewhere over here. I'm not quite sure if I need to, and I should check that. If I need to fertilize any of the fields. Okay, over here it's fully done. Over there uh, it's kind of fully done. We can and we get one one stage of fertilization. Wow, that's beautiful. We get one stage of fertilization because we are chopping the straw. Uh, in which case, obviously, we save quite a bit of cash, and uh, as of yet, we don't really need the straw, so we don't have anything that we can utilize the straw for. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to bother with um, uh, if I'm going to bother with uh, animals on this map. Maybe I will, but I probably have to say, most likely, I will not. I still have to find a couple of the golden apples. I don't know where they are, to be really honest. I haven't seen anybody that... Um, so I haven't seen anybody that has found any. So I'm not quite sure where else I should be looking. But we'll come across it as we do, as we do our daily chores. Hopefully what I wanted to do is... Is this my... No, that's not my bed. It's up here. I always get this too. No. Go too far. There you go. I want to see how we're going with pallets. Okay, we have really looks... I took the longest way possible to... Over here. Okay, it's not what I wanted to do, but okay. So it looks like we've got ourselves quite a few uh, pallets, so we may need to we may need to either just leave them here like this. Well, that's a pro okay. We don't want to. Okay, we need to get all of this. I haven't checked to see. Well, we still got plenty of carrots and we still got plenty of um, beets. I don't think I've actually harvested a par uh, parsnip, which is, um, yeah, not good. Uh, I do believe that now they've upgraded some of the uh, beetroot and all that uh, harvesters that can harvest everything. So in that case, we will definitely be looking into 
doing a little bit more of the root crops added by the latest DLC. Alright, so we got plenty here to deal with. And what I'm gonna do now, after it saves, of course. Come on, buddy. Where is my soup factory? No bakery. I think you're down here somewhere. Yep, let's visit that. And I do believe it's this way that I. Okay, so this one's not quite full. Which is fine. Uh, we do have quite a bit of. Uh, does it show? on our map over here. No, it does not. Oh, yes, it did. Carrots at the train. We have 136,000 liters. Okay, it's gonna take a little while for this guy to be needing to be emptied. So what I'll do is I'll get this magnificent tractor and we'll go and collect some of those pallets from uh, from our, not the, not the soup factory, the preserved carrots and all that sort of stuff. So let's get it done. Now, if you guys uh, know where any of the golden apples are that I haven't found as of yet, uh, let me know. I think I've got about 10 to go. Something like that. So I, it's, it's kind of becoming a bit... Um, What's the word? A bit hard for me to remember where I've looked and what I haven't looked. I do believe that I've looked on this area. That doesn't mean that just because I've looked that I did not miss them. I mean, I went to the shop a thousand times and I didn't see the one that was in the aircon at the shop. So, uh, did I just... Okay, so just about to pass my... Oh, what are you doing? What you doing? Stick to the road. All right, let's gather all of these. So we got what, uh, 34,000 liters. Wow, that's not too bad. How far is the soup company from where I am? Uh, quite a bit. Do I want to go and gather the soup as well now? Yeah, might as well. Hang gives us an opportunity to see the map. So I'm going to have to drive on this almost till the soup factory by the looks of it. Oh, what are you doing? Stay on the road. This is what happens when you're just using a keyboard. Much better. As our combine still has not reached uh, not even 80 percent so i don't have to go and unload it as yet any of you see any apples yell out So like so many of these little villages type thing, they look so similar that you kind of thinking, have I been here before? Have I done this? Am I anywhere near uh, where I need to be? And so on and so on. So my soup factory is right here from memory. Jup jup, yep. Jup jup jup. Smash into the workers' cars. 
we can't afford to pay for it. Alright, let's uh, quickly have a look. Where am I heading? I need to cut inland. There's the train. You know what? Let's try this. Uh, where am I going? I'm going there, right? No. Oh, go away. Where am I? I got lost. I'm wrong side of the map. Where do I summon the train from? Right there. Stop. Okay. But I am in the wrong place. So let's get the train and go to where I need to go. Oops. Uh, some of them at the wrong place. It's gonna get backwards now to the place where I don't want him to go. Do I just see an apple? No, I did not. All right, let's go. Let's go to where it needs to be. And then we'll bring the tractor. I should have said the tractor to come there, shouldn't have I? I suppose it's interesting. I get to drive the train to here. Now, let's figure out a way to get there. Alright, so we are there. The train's way up there. So I need to somehow cut through here, right? Cut through there, all the way to the end. Then chuck a right. And then turn left. No, I developed this bad habit. Instead of pressing three and just put on cruise control, I just keep pressing the thing, uh, the button to uh, for me to drive the, you know, the forward thing instead of putting it on cruise control. Yeah, I'm thinking, why am I not doing that? So if I do this, we get the square button, the square screen. I like the square one better. I haven't really driven around here, so maybe we'll see some apples. I'm not quite sure what this pro what production is here, but so this isn't where I've got to go that way. <laughs> You're kidding. Now we're gonna do, lift it up the illegal way. Are you kidding me? Hey, you didn't see that. It's back on the road. This is where we gotta go up, left. Let's slow down this time because the last thing we wanna do is go through that stuff again. I wonder that you can use, uh, I always forget the name of that mod, that creators mod to uh, turn the vehicle back over, but what, why I didn't do it because I wasn't sure What's gonna happen to the stuff the all the pallets? I was thinking I, I don't want to uh, 
you know, use that particular mod and then flick the, the pallets all over the place. You know what the biggest problem is going to be right now? I just realized right now, I've got the train that is on the on the crossing. So I'm not going to be able to cross into the area. So I should have crossed somewhere else. So hopefully I'll have a, a, a place over here that I could cross the rail and actually get in to the area that I need to go to. I'm not quite sure if there's a fence there or not. Looks like we should be fine, so you know, I'll just slowly cross. Just pretend that that's the norm. Beautiful. Done. Alright, let's get into the locomotive. Oi, yo. Am I on the last one? I just uh, grab it. The engine stopped. That's not good. Why am I paying you if you're too scungy to let the diesel keep on going? Or electricity, actually, it's an electric train. You know, I don't mind this style of a train. I actually, you know, it's quite nice and quite fitting. We didn't lose any other pallets, they sold everything. Yes, they did. Well, what do you know? We do need to go and empty our combine, which is a surprise. I honestly thought that it would be able to just keep on going with the whole lot. Now it's a bit of a pain because I'm going to have to drive on the crop, but not much I can do about that. So obviously I'm going to uh, harvest both these fields and then I'm going to make out of the two fields just one field. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to um, get ourselves a bigger combine. So it's no doubt that that's the next thing that's going to be on our agenda to buy. I mean, we, it's not like we've got truckloads of money, but we should be okay. Should be okay if we, we do have plenty of carrots, we do have plenty of um, uh, production going, so we should be able to make our money fairly, fairly, fairly simple. I will, I'm hoping anyway. Alright, let's put you there. Let's get into the... Can I set this guy to go home? Create job. Go to... Where do I want you to go? You know what? Why send him home when I can send him right there? Okay, he can't figure how to get there by himself. Let's get him onto the road and see if, if that will help. It turned dark all of a sudden, didn't it? Alright, well, I'll see if he can go from here where he needs to go. Create job, go to right there. Start job. Alright, I'll continue harvesting in the dark over here. Um, and obviously we'll skip the day into the day and then we'll get ourselves harvesting the next field. Alright, so harvesting our sorghum is in full swing. I was actually thinking about... Um, okay, wrong button. Whether I should buy that, but then I was looking at the land that we own. Um, I wonder why I would own that. I'd have to look into it. I'm curious to see if I buy that. You know what, let's buy it. And if it's no good, I'll, I can always sell it back. While this guy's doing what he's doing, let's just go and see. You know what I'm talking about, right? If that um, shed here, I can utilize it. 
No. So then why would I buy this? Okay, maybe I could put some buildings on it, but I don't really need the buildings, so we'll sell it back. It seems like we get our money back anyway, so it's fine. I was thinking of buying, I can buy the lake, don't know why. Buying these fields as well. I can buy these three fields with the money that I have. Uh, it's got, I think, wheat on them. You know what? Let's just buy them. 41. And that way we complete. I don't have enough money to buy that field, but that's fine. So let's go back to our harvester and we'll continue to harvest the fields. We have uh, field, the field behind us that we can harvest as well and uh, get some of my money back. I realize that I keep buying fields and my equipment is not really up to scratch. So I do need to stop buying fields and actually upgrading the equipment. I'll do a bit of a time lapse with this harvesting. It's dark again and I just realized why wow, I got my timing on 60. So, harvesting is going on, purchase new fields. Uh, we are plowing this uh, field and we are gonna unite them, uh, make them into one field. So, thank you very much for spending some of your time with me. I hope you're enjoying this series. Have a wonderful day wherever you are around the world. God bless you and your family and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.